using Rman incremental backup doesn't give you any added benefits when it comes to PDB conversion. As part of the downtime window, you need to convert the database into a PDB using the regular procedure, the non-CDB to PDB script. That requires additional downtime. If you also need to upgrade the database, it is strongly recommended that you first upgrade the database and then convert. Not only does the upgrade first approach offers you some better rollback capabilities, we also introduced a significant performance improvement in the 19.9 release. At first glance, it might seem appealing to use the method where you can clone a non-CDB database directly into a CDB over a database link. But we have not seen this method used with success for migrating very, very large databases. And the reason is simple, because this approach doesn't offer you any incremental apply, so you will have to suffer a lot of downtime while the entire database is being copied. The work that needs to be done on the source database, can you offload that to another system? And yes, you can with this approach, because you can use your standby databases to perform the backups and thus offloading the primary source database. Another option is simply to reuse the RMAN backups that you're probably already taking off the database. You can simply just fetch them from your storage system, your tape system, or wherever you have the backups, and put them on the target server and use those for recovery. 